Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I'll be doing something a little different. This past week, my mother and I were going through some old boxes. Sorry, there's noise outside suddenly and it was quiet. Anyway, my mother and I were going through old boxes that we haven't... Sorry, these people playing soccer outside suddenly, just when I started recording. Anyway, so my mother and I were going through some old boxes and we found a couple of things that were really interesting. We haven't opened those boxes in since 2008, so 12 years. Yeah, so I found some really exciting things that I wanted to share. Um, the first one is something that was a Christmas decoration. Yeah, guys, don't judge. I was <laughs> really a fan of Christmas. See this guy? He was... On our Christmas tree every single year I was obsessed with Christmas I decorated for Christmas every year and this was one of the guys now he got holes on his nose and it looks like he has a booger can you explain this do you remember this yep still have mine it's a Motorola V80 what <laughs> when flip phones were the cool thing yeah it's a floppy disc with my name plus my alias <laughs> then my mother found this picture of me let's just say it's been a while and this is me oh my gosh this is me in 1989 look at that she's so cute then actually I have three different pictures from different years let's see does this have a date yes it does mm? it doesn't have the year but this was me as a teenager i was probably 13 or 14 at this time and this was at church we used to have a thing called mission sunday and we had to put on bitenges and this was one of my favorite maybe i hope you can see i'm just gonna know when i'm editing this I had gone on vacation with a friend to the coast. We had gone to see her grandmother at the coast. So yeah, this was really nice to find because, wow, this girl, I have so many things to tell her. This is a very long time ago. As you can see, uh, we have come a mighty long way. <laughs> the makeup. The Lord delivered me. My love for baking came from this recipe and I think that's why I kept it because it's one of my favorite things to make to date I love making cookies a lot but honey moist cornbread that was the one recipe I could never figure out where I put it and so I was so sad I had to find a new one on the internet so this is one of the ones we found and it's still intact from the box it was in from 2008 we moved out of that house in 2008 and these things have been in a box since 12 years of moving from house to house and you guys i love moving house if i could i would move every year i don't think you understand moving house is such a fun experience for me people hate it i always look forward to it i'm part of the reason i think uh, landlords have gotten rich in this country and moving companies i love moving love it no, let me not show you this first. This one surprised me because I always thought I had lost this thing. It's called My First Sony. Yep. Mm -hmm. Still have it. It's still intact. Yo, the only thing that is missing from this thing is... See, it even has the aerial. Like, the volume. Uh, the only thing that's missing is its cable, which... Where is the yeah it had a cable here but it, it also used batteries the very big batteries i cannot believe this is still in my possession for real i can't believe this is still in my possession i know i have tapes look this is broken i know i have tapes somewhere in this house because we found quite a number of tapes from 
that time but your people did like this was my version of a boombox proper <sighs> this was hey, hey my first possession i think who remembers because after school we i think all of us probably went for these computer packages who still has their card from iat remember doing icdl yep i still have my card from iat i don't even know why why do i look bald <laughs> i look like i've no hair look <laughs> yes i had i had um condros on my head but i look like do i look the same i don't think i've changed much from this picture which year was this whoa this is 10 years ago hmm? wait when i was uh how old was i there was a a mission from the u.s called samaritan's pass and they would send gift boxes to different families in africa generally in africa and in asia i think and um i was lucky to be a recipient of one of the boxes i don't remember how old i was but yeah i was one of i was a recipient of one of the boxes and it came with a lot of stuff a few toys a few things that um you can use for school stuff like that notebooks and things like those and it was a really amazing like yo we were struggling so it was a nice <laughs> addition to the few things that i had and one of the things that came in there was a love had box this was not in the box that we just found but it came to me i was probably about seven or eight something like that because i still remember a lot of the things and this is one of the things that came in there and now it's my wait can you even see this i think i'm shining yeah this is one of the things that came in there and i turned it into my jewelry box and it has still been my jewelry box all this time I just keep adding to the jewelry and giving out some of them but this is this was a really nice find when we moved to this house i've been using it all this time so we found this and we just thought it's a normal book bro listen my mom <laughs> used to buy me uh, used to write me notes like when i'm on holiday and she's at work I think I'm going to read. <laughs> I wish she was, she was here for this. She was supposed to be here, but uh, something happened and she couldn't make it. But I, I just have to read a few of these things because I laughed so hard. <sighs> Anywho. So, first of all, she has always had a bomb handwriting. I couldn't write this well even if I tried. Okay, now I probably can imitate her handwriting. But yeah. I used to fake her signature in the school diary when I forgot to have it signed. Yep, I was those ones. Did you do your homework? <laughs> anyway, um, and they were always funny. Let me start with the normal one before I get to the crazy <laughs> page. Um, hi, May, Rise and Shine. First of all, this is 2002. How old? Whoa, okay, that's a long time ago. That's 18 years ago. Jeez, that was a tip. Wow. Anywho. Um, hi, May. Rise and shine. You good girl, you. Have I told you lately that I love you? Please note the spelling of told. Do you see that? Have I told you lately that I love you? You just drew up. Um, uh, then it mentions a couple of people that I was going to see. Uh, be blessed as you go for tuition. So I was still going for holiday tuition then, and she would she would sign most of them the same way. I love you, and the Lord loves you even more. J, mom. This was not a common one actually. She used to write just mom for most of them, but she would sign them like I don't know who's writing it. I don't know, man. Uh, then please dress warm when you're going to Don Home. I used to we used to live in Buruburu when I was young. And I used to go to a friend's house in Don Home for my tuition. tuition. 
Mtu za matusha na matuition. Please don't judge me. Anyhow. Then this one just made me laugh so hard because this like her personality came out in her writing. And so for this one, it starts. Musichana mulebo. Musichana mulebo. Hambali yako. Wewe ni mzuri sana. Kalimbu, eh? Kalimbu umeamka nje, eh? Umeamka aje orange. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> My mother was a comedian <laughs> before. Wait. And this is this is just how she started it and then she starts the actual letter hi please leave nah, 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 like that but she made she made my child fun let me just say that and then she'd always say bye for now god bless you mom i know it's you my mother you didn't have to tell me later in my 20s i started acting and this was one of the acting gigs yes i was once on a calendar for a show I used to be on. You all who did not know I was an actor. Supplies. So, this was the calendar for that show. Do you see this? This is me in character. Let's just say to me to Kambali. But yeah, I just want to share these things with you because it's so nice to walk down memory lane. Honestly, like it was really, really nice. Um, if you have done this and there's been at least 10 years since you last opened like those old boxes, tell me what you found because I, I was surprised. I can't even show you everything. Like the box was huge and this is just some of the things that I was able to pick and we decided to keep. But there's a lot of books that we are donating. There's um, a lot of these writing pads that have not been used. I don't even understand why. I guess they were for me for school. But yeah, if you get the chance to go through old pictures, I have thousands of pictures, like hard copy pictures. That, and I have like five albums of pictures that I haven't even finished going through, to be honest. So yeah, I do. I, does anyone else miss these, like, pictures? Because for a lot of the ones, <laughs> for a lot of the ones we found. Go away. <laughs> For a lot of the ones we found, they even had the negative attached to the pictures behind. Okay, guys, I don't think I have time to explain to you <laughs> if you don't know. If you're of this younger generation, I don't think I have the time to explain what a negative is. But if you lost a negative, your parents would kill you because that's the only way they can get back a picture that they lost. <laughs> We have envelopes full of negatives. Like I don't hey yo, it was it was important to have negatives. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. See you guys next time. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, tell me what you found in yours, in your box if you decide to do this. Yeah. This should be very interesting. Peace. Ooh.